Haunted houses open this weekend in the West Bottoms, but of course this isn't a normal year, so expect some changes. Mm -hmm. Our reporter Andres Gutierrez shows us what you can expect on top of the good jump scare. Only two haunted houses will open in the West Bottoms this year. The Edge of Hell and the Beast that's celebrating its 30th anniversary. This being able to step outside what is real and enjoy a little bit of fun. Amber Arnett Beckwith, also known as the Queen of Haunts, grew up around that spooky fun. That's now part of the Halloween traditions for many families. You can literally feel it physically, the, the energy in the air to come who gets to be next? Who gets to go in? And we now have grandparents who bring their grandchildren. The pandemic put the future of these haunted attractions in question, but they're going ahead with it so people can briefly escape reality and to keep staff working. Folks visiting either haunted house will first be met with the spray paint on the sidewalk, making sure they stay six feet apart. Tickets will be limited and the groups will be timed out to make sure that they can ensure social distancing inside. And once you go through metal detectors and are inside, you'll be met with with staff members who will be behind this plexiglass. They'll take your temperature, and if it's a degree above the norm, you won't be allowed inside. Hand sanitizer will be mandatory, and once you sign your waiver here with your thumb, they'll pass your hands underneath this UV light to make sure they're clean, and masks, of course, will also be required. It can't be a mask like this. It just has to be a plain mask. The cast will creatively add masks to their characters in addition to following other safety protocols. And if you want to get scared here, do it sooner rather than later. They're usually open 35 days for the season. This year, only 18, beginning on Friday. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.